Now the Laravel 5.7 is officially out. In this my channel, I will cover all the new updates in the latest Laravel 5.7. So if you have not subscribed to our channel, click below red subscribe button and check bell icon. So you could never miss our upcoming videos on Laravel 5.7 updates. Now without wasting more time, let's start. In this new update, Laravel has introduced optional email verification to its default authentication system. Let's take a look at this feature together. I have already installed Laravel 5.7 in my system. You can see in the .env file, I have already set up database. Because we know an email is going to fire off, for testing I will set up mail driver to mail trap. If you don't know what is mail trap, it is a fake SMTP server for development to test emails. You can create a free account in MailTrap because I have already created and I am already logged in into MailTrap account. Here you can see MailTrap gives a one free demo inbox. Let's click here. If you see in .env file, Laravel has already filled mail host and mail port with MailTrap host and MailTrap port. We just need to copy and paste username and password from MailTrap to our .env file. Everything is now set up. Let's take a look how email verification works in Laravel 5.7. If we take a look at user model, it is mostly the same. Except to this one new import here, must verify email. If we see into this, it is an interface. We can see that it includes three methods. If we implement that interface behind the scene, after user registered, the user will receive a verification email. Because we have already set up database, so let's migrate it. And if we switch over to database and user table, you will see there is a new email verified at timestamp column included out of the box. This column will determine if user is verified or not. Next, I am going to run php artisan make auth command on the terminal to generate quick scaffold for basic registration and login system. Now in browser, we can see link to register. Let's create an account. Here something went wrong. Route verification dot verified not defined. But if we switch over user table, give a refresh. Yeah, it has created a user, but some point at email verification it blows up. Here is the issue. We going route web file, and here at auth route, we going to specify that we do need email verification. Now let's give one more shot. I will create account again. Now it worked and we are signed in. But still if we get refresh, we will see email verified at column is null. User haven't yet verified his email. If we go into our HTTP kernel, if we scroll down, you will see there is a route middleware. Right here, this is a brand new middleware in Laravel 5.7 to ensure if email is verified. Let's take a look at this middleware. If we have a user, that user implements that interface and user have not verified their email, well then we are going to redirect to a page to verify the email. 
That's all that middleware does. Let's go ahead and apply this middleware. For testing purpose, I am going to apply this middleware on home page. Now come back, go to home page, instantly it redirects to here. So don't have permission to visit that page. It is asking to check email to verify email address. Let's see if email was sent. Let's go to the mail trap. Here is the email. Let's visit this page. And just like that, we are done. If we go to home page, this time it passes. We have permission to visit that page. In the user table, give a refresh. We are now confirmed. We usually do boolean column to check if email is verified or not. Now it is a common practice these days to have a timestamp column rather than true or false. We can get same functionality with null or timestamp but we also get a benefits to knowing when exactly this activation occurred. If you want to know what is going on there, take a look at this to make sure you understand this. In providers, under the event service provider, you will see this is new in Laravel 5.7. Once the user is registered, it triggers this event listener. Let's take a look at this. Alright, once again we are checking. If user do implement that interface, then it checks if user has not verified his email and then it's gonna send email verification notification. If we check this, Laravel has created verify email notification. Let's check this notification. Here it is sending email to user mailbox. And that's all. Nice and clean. See you in the next video of Laravel 5.7 updates.